Hello, everyone, and welcome to Liberty Starship, where we take you beyond the typical terrestrial politics. Join us on the journey. My name is Eric, and this is my co-host, Pete. And uh, as always, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to go right into our daily distractions, which, uh, honestly, Peter, that might take a different meaning now <laughs> in the age of corona. Daily distractions was uh, always kind of meant to be sort of our satire of all the kind of stupid news out there and the misleading headlines, but people might be looking for distractions today. Yeah, that's, that's right. There's not a lot of fluff on the news. Everything is Corona, 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 and it's mostly hard news. So um, I guess it just tells you that the media is hungry to fill the 24 hour news cycle. And now that there's finally something happened that justifies it, <laughs> they are taking full advantage. So don't let this crisis go to waste. Yeah. That's true. Did you want to go ahead and start out with your first article? Sure. Um, you know, uh, there's a very important uh, story I wanted to share. Uh, let me bring up the tab. Uh, last week, we warned you about the, the dangers of putting monkeys out of work. Uh, <laughs> you might recall that monkeys in Thailand were orphan monkeys were being forced to tend bar. Well, we now see what happens. When they when they're unemployed, yeah, they're they turn to crime. There are starving monkey gangs in La Puri, uh, <laughs> Thailand, right now. <laughs> As uh, yeah, yeah, what's happened? And and, and I, I joke, but it's it's kind of true. Uh, what you don't have as many tourists, and these monkeys are called crab eating monkeys. So ostensibly, they eat crab in a state of nature, but with all the tourists, they eat a lot of french fries and whatever else the tourists drop now the tourists are gone there's not as much food for the monkeys and so they are fighting each <laughs> other in the streets of la puri uh or la puri absolutely unbelievable um so it looks a bit like like downtown chandler on on friday but <laughs> Yeah, everything is abandoned. Maybe not so much now, right? Maybe not right, so much now. Right, now that everything's abandoned because of the, the coronavirus. Oh, goodness. The city even hosts an annual monkey buffet festival. So they are serious. <laughs> <sighs> Absolutely unbelievable. So we've got a monkey theme going two weeks in a row now. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. We'll see how long we can keep it going. <laughs> People need to know the truth about this important topic: monkey rights, monkey civil liberties. I'm uh, curious. So, so what are they? What are what are they saying they're going to do about this? I, I assume this is a problem for them. So I assume it is uh, because it's Southeast Asia. There's probably not a lot they are going to be able to do about it. Um, Generally, the, the religious sentiment, if you have a Hindu population, is that you don't force the monkeys to leave. You don't kill them. The most you can do is maybe bring larger monkeys into the vicinity. And, and that's how you would try to solve the problem. But um, basically, I think they are stuck with the monkeys for the foreseeable future. <laughs> stuck with the monkeys. Yeah. Now let's hope they're not spreading corona around, huh? I have to imagine they are. I don't know if monkeys... <laughs> They're closely related to us. If uh, you know, we can get diseases from dogs and cats. I have to imagine that that monkeys can spread disease too. And I, I know they spread other diseases, so it, it could be a real problem for uh, for the city. Yeah. Well, that's just crazy. Yeah. 